There is no doubt that having a few magic arms in your kit can make your rigging life easier, but these two in particular have made my magic arm life easier. iFootage has just launched a whole collection of accessories under their Spidercrab lineup, and among those are two of the best magic arms I've ever used. This short one here is called the MA34, and this long one here is the MA56. Aside from being incredibly solid and well-built, They've got this quick release system on each end. You secure the mounting base to your accessory, then drop it into the quick release and lock it down with a buckle. There's also a safety catch. If you undo the buckle, it prevents the accessory from coming off unless you press the release tab. Having quick release in a magic arm is easily one of the best upgrades for me on set. It can move accessories between rigs incredibly quickly and it completely bypasses everyone's favorite process of rotating the entire accessory or the arm to tighten and loosen the mount. Even when you're attaching just a quick release base to your gear, the only thing you have to physically turn is this little tab at the bottom which rotates the thread itself. This way it doesn't leave those beautiful circular scratches on the base of your gear and it allows for this rubber ring around the edge to prevent your gear from slipping around and coming loose. There's also these ARRI locating pins beside the thread for even more security. It's a moderately common standard and you'll find them on quite a number of accessories, but the pins would jam into the slots, making them impossible to rotate and therefore coming loose. But for mounting onto things that do not have these slots, the pins actually retract out of the way so you don't have to worry about compatibility. These pins aren't the only retractable things though. The 3 8 inch mount is actually a retractable sleeve around a quarter inch mount so it's compatible with both thread sizes without having to bother with any of those dreadful little adapter rings. Each arm also comes with one RX01 cold shoe adapter with a quarter inch female thread in the center. And then there's also these two arms. These are a bit different. These are the light counterparts to the two MA series arms we were just looking at earlier. This is the LT2-3.5 and the LT4-5.5. They share a similar build quality but are notably missing the quick release system. This makes the LT arms more conventional. On one end is just a raw quarter inch thread, but the long end does get a locking ring design that saves you the trouble of having to rotate your whole setup to mount it at least on this end. It's also missing out on the RE locating pins, but what you do get is an arm that each weighs over 100 grams less than their MA versions while retaining the same excellent build quality. The LT arms are also more affordable options compared to the MA ones, those are the ones with Cricklies. Those cost $94 and $114, whereas the LT arms cost only $44 and $64. All four of these arms are rated for a maximum payload of 6 kilograms, which is plenty for whatever is likely going on a magic arm. And then there's this long boy, which I'm not quite sure classifies as a magic arm. This is the SA32 support rod and it's $134. It's got the same quick release mechanisms on both ends, but on one end you're looking at a clamp. It's still fully modular, so you can remove the clamp and just use it as one giant arm. There are ball sockets on both ends, so it's one straight column with both ends articulating. It's also a telescopic column. End to end, it goes from 21 inches to 32 inches. There is also a mounting site on the clamp head itself. It can be either quarter inch male or 3 8 inch female. It's useful for mounting items closer to the center of support say for example a sound recorder while a mic is being boomed out on the arm. I also find it useful as a slider support rod which can replace a light stand, monopod or another tripod when you need some extra support for a long slider. Also in the Spidercrab series are two suction cups for mounting your gear onto smooth surfaces like a car and a neat little phone mount. Now I haven't tried the suction cups for myself yet but what I can say about the MS-01 phone mount is it's a very versatile phone mount that collapses into an absolutely minimal footprint. I'll be leaving purchase links to all these amazing spider crab accessories down in the description and if you enjoyed this video consider watching more of my videos.